hi friends welcome to my channel and today in this video i am going to show you how to create coverage network for for hyper v uh, cluster so let's have some idea about my daemon environment in my daemon environment i am be, uh, uh, using three virtual machine here the first one is win 2k12 dc01 which is my active directory server if you want to verify here is my win 2k win 2k12 dc01 you can verify my domain name vectorinfosol.com and I have a, a, like Active Directory DSCP and DNS role installed on this server so ba basically this server acting as a domain control on my infrastructure and I have two nodes uh, Win2K12 node 01 and Win2K12 node 02 which is my basically Hyper-V server if you want to verify here you can verify node 1 and node 2 both are joined in my domain vector info soul and i have logged in with my domain account which is uh, ad, uh, cluster admin and i have installed hyper v role on these both servers so let's move and so here is uh, what is coverage network like uh, uh, like if if we have a two uh, two different server two physical server or to virtual machines we have like four nic 1 gb 1 gbps 1 gbps 1 gbps we have a four physical nic here and and then we are going to create team uh, a, a nic teaming and on on that particular nic teaming we we enable the hyper v extensible switches and then we can we will create four virtual nic here and and uh, it's it's up to your requirement if you want to create four nic Four virtual nick you can create four virtual nick and you can create n number of nick uh, whatever you uh, whatever you your requirement so so uh, that all nick work together as a coverage cluster network for hyper v host so let's create the same and in this demo i'm going to uh, like I, I, I don't going to use like physical machine i'm going to use my virtual machine as a physical and I have attached four nick on my both nodes. You can verify from here. And like if we go here, you can verify I have four nick here attached with node one. And same you can verify on my node two machine. I have attached four nick also here. You can verify four nick. So basically. These are NIC. So, so the first thing I'm go, uh, I need to create a NIC teaming. So I'm going to create a NIC teaming here. On my node one first. If we go here, go to server manager dashboard, click on local server. Then we have four NIC here. One, uh, one NIC is configured with IP address. Other, uh, all the others three have not configured IP address yet. So I'm going to create NIC teaming first. So on the nick teaming disable, I am going to click here and it will launch the nick teaming uh, uh, you can see nick teaming management uh, uh, dashboard. So here I am going to create a team first. So under a task, I am going to create new team and I have written one script here. If you want to check out, go to desktop. This script is basically for creating the uh, coverage network switches. So I'm and in, in the script I have I have written my nick uh, nick teaming name as a coverage Vnix. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. So this is my basically uh, nick teaming name nick team name. So I'm going to select my all the four nicks and click OK. So so. Uh, it means we have created one NIC team the, with the name of coverage-v network and we have attached all the four NICs on the, uh, on the particular team. So you can see we have four NIC, we have created one NIC here like virtual, virtual NIC with the team you can see active and it will take some time to bring all the NIC online. So just wait for a few may few seconds. It 
just suppress it so now you can see all the nick are up and active so same i am going to create on my second uh, node so local server click on nick teaming and go here new task new team then put the nick team name then select the nick whatever you want to associate with this team and click ok oops we have not selected uh, ethernet one so no worries we can add other particular nick after creating this so you can see adapter we have three adapter associated only so we have to add one more adapter here like you can see here three is connected so I'm going to click here properties and select the adapter which was not selected click apply and now you can so see here is four adapters and one is active just be patient it will activate the next one also so you can see all the nick are up and if you go here now you can see we have one uh, one nick only which is creating by team so click close here and now you can see IP address has been removed from here and this is getting IP address from a PIPA on the same you can verify on our second first node we are getting IP address from a PIPA only and we can close it everything close and now I'm going to run the script to create like uh, these four uh, virtual nick. You can see in my PPT domain hyphen nick for domain connectivity I scan hyphen nick for I scan connectivity cluster hyphen V nick is for like uh, cluster connectivity and live migration hyphen V nick we will use in cluster for live migration only. So I'm going to. So here is the script. I'm going to post this script in my description as well as if you require you can copy this script and use accordingly and you just need to rename the your uh, like you can say your team name and uh, the virtual naked after name which you want to create. So I'm going to close it and I'm going to use like PowerShell. PowerShell. ISC launch it so you can see what's going on here on this script so we'll just wait for a few seconds to load this this so I'm going to op click on open and I'm going to browse for my script and I have the script open then you can see the script here and what I have to do so we uh, we have logged in and we have like play button here and I'm going to run this script so just click on start so getting some error messages just need to verify what is wrong here this can be found and give it criteria so so we do not have permission to create virtual machine service it means I have to run the power is by administrator so go here and click and run as administrator yes I want to run as administrator so so it's loaded and now I'm going to open my uh, power server script here and just click on play button 
and just want to show you that the script is working so you can see my all the adapted as like disabling enabling some activity is going on and now you can see we have the neck level and you can see coverage business external micro driver installed and we have the script uh, completed successfully and for to verify this you have to go here network and internet network connection now you can see if you go on team you can't see any IP address and we need you can't see any IP address so we have four NIC here which we can use domain VNIC, ISKC VNIC, cluster VNIC and live migration as per our uh, our, our document so now same I am going to run on my second server so I am going to launch power powershell IES as the administrator run as administrator click yes and same if you go here you can verify we have four nick here and now just wait to load the module for power powershell so you can see running a script selection controller to black break so just wait for a few seconds so now you can see module is loaded and click open and browse the script and here we have click on run and up in here you can see in few seconds it will create the uh, like respective uh, virtual NICs So almost done. We have all the four NIC available here and completed successfully. So you can close the PowerShell and from here also. And now you need to just configure the IP address. So for the domain connectivity, I'm going to configure IP address on this machine for domain connectivity properties and put here like 192.168.1.253 and my DNS name 192.168.1.254 click on apply close and close and on the second server I am also going to define my um, domain IP address So 192.168.1.252 and my DNS 192.168.1.254. Click OK. Close it. Close it. So we have we got the connectivity with our domain the second server as well as so we have successfully created like a coverage network for Hyper-V cluster and in the next video I am going to put like uh, create a cluster by using these or uh, these four virtual NICs and thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can drop me a mail on my given mail ID thank you once again bye bye